Hey guys, uh, my name is Nikhil. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about uh, uh, stable coins, uh, my strategy around how to stake them and where to stake them. Um, in this particular video, I want to cover uh, US Terra, UST. This is a stable coin that is pegged against uh, the Terra Luna token. Uh, I would call this more of a decentralized stable coin. Um, there are other stable coins in crypto uh, called USDT, USDC. These these are more of a centralized stable coins. They have companies uh, backing them. The and and obviously USDT, USDC have commercial papers, uh, US dollars that back the back that currency, right? In this case, uh, UST has uh, Terra Terra Luna token uh, uh, backing this currency. So every time uh, there is more UST minted, they burn Terra Luna and vice versa. Right. So in this in this video, I just wanted to show you how you can move your UST into a protocol called Anchor and get up to 19.5% interest. So I already have about $360 here and you can get 19.49% interest and this has been quite consistent uh, almost throughout the year. Okay, I'll show you uh, four steps of how to do this in this short video and the most important part of about this video is um, you know the easiest way to get the money uh, over here and the most cheapest way to get the money to, to stake okay there are different ways of getting getting your money to uh, to terra you can send money from your uh, centralized exchange to an ethereum wallet and from ethereum wallet you can bridge to terra so all of those will cost you a lot of uh, transaction fees so today i want to cover uh, four steps which will reduce your uh, transaction fees uh, to a minimal okay um, so let's go you know I have got a Binance account um, so I'm going to use my Binance account so minimum withdrawal limit right now at Binance is uh, to Luna um, before we get there you if you are new to Terra uh, ecosystem first thing you got to do is install uh, a Terra Luna uh, sorry Terra station wallet um, once it's in you can just go Google it and uh, and, and you'll get you you'll be able to find one uh, once you install it you you have to create your own um, um, wallet um, save your uh, um, seed phrase etc um, and this is my wallet right now uh, what I'm going to do is step one I'm going to copy the address from here and put the address over here it always gives me this saying this you know it, it, sometimes it needs a memo um, for some reason the Terra one doesn't have and it, it, it usually works there's no challenge I've you know I've, 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 try, I've done this a few times every time it keeps asking me for a memo tag okay maximum and All right, so once you've transferred uh, tokens from from your Binance account, so if you see the transaction fees is just 0 0.02 Luna, okay? So once you've transferred to your wallet, you can go to teraswap.io. Uh, I'm gonna swap one Luna token for 52 USD. I'm gonna select Luna as my guess. I'm gonna key in my password. save it for some time and yeah take a few seconds yep so now I've got 52 dollars 52 UST in my wallet it took 0 0.02 Luna token to as gas fee right so now I go to uh, anchor protocol it's app.anchorprotocol.com just go here and deposit the challenge here is that I'm not able to figure out a way to change 
gas transaction fees right now it, it's taking usd so in this case i'm going to make it i'm going to keep 55 dollars and say proceed it'll ask me for approvals approve And done so my total has increased now for 415 dollars and i'm expecting 80 dollars in a year right so the best part is you know it keeps adding on a daily basis so 22 cents it keeps adding to your total it's auto compounding um you can also use your ledger uh, to do this you don't need uh, if you if you're too scared too worried about using a terra station mobile wallet you can always um, use a ledger to do it okay so to sum it up uh, i just did the four steps step one i bought the luna token on binance step two i i installed the chrome browser step three i swapped the luna token to usd and step four i deposited the usd i did all of these under point zero four luna token for transaction fee but if you do the same thing you can do this in multiple ways uh, this is the most efficient way so this was the own whole reason of this video hope you guys liked it uh, if you did please leave a like share the video and please please subscribe this is my second video i'm i'm very new to youtube um, hope you guys liked it <laughs>